G'day everyone, today's workout we're using the tennis balls. We're gonna throw these to ourselves as it's dropping down, trying to kick it. This will help with our speed, reaction, technique, and our foot-eye coordination. Um, if you've got a partner, they can throw the ball at you as you kick it. Um, so this works at home, by yourself, or with the training partner. So the first kick I'm gonna do is on the spot stab. So I'm gonna throw the ball to myself as it's dropping down, I wanna kick it out. Try and get the ball to drop a kicking length away. Um, if not, doesn't matter, you're still trying to react wherever the ball lands. If you muck up your throw, just keep trying again. So, first one, stab on the spot. So I'm gonna throw the ball so it lands this distance away. No. Try and hit the bottom. Try hardest to not get it to spin off like I was. If you hit the bottom, the ball should travel dead straight against the wall. Next one we're gonna do, get some more balls. I'm gonna travel now. So as I throw, I'm gonna travel forward. So obviously I need to throw it a bit further out. Again, we're looking for the timing of the ball drop and speed and reaction to try and hit the, hit the ball. Now we're gonna add another hop. So even longer, I'm gonna throw the ball out here and travel twice. I don't throw it longer. Those three drills can be done for body height. So as a ball is dropping, try and catch it at body height, but also you do the same drill and try and catch it high with either cut kick to the head or axe kick. So as it's high, try and catch it high. Again, as long as you're trying to get your foot onto the ball, it's simulating someone's head, no matter where it is, you can try and get your foot to touch uh, the right spot. So foot-eye coordination. And now another good drill with the tennis balls. So we've been throwing it to ourselves. Now I'm gonna get closer to a wall. I'm gonna throw the ball at the wall so it comes back at me fast, and then I have to react quicker. So first one, just standing on the spot. Throwing it, so when it bounces back, it's about body height. And this can be done to the head as well. Now once you've got good at using the wall, your reaction and accuracy is good, try a bit harder, throw the ball harder and challenge yourself. So you might need some extra room, throw hard, hit. See how hard you can throw and then if the ball comes high, kick high, if it comes low, kick low. Every angle is helping your accuracy. Once we've used our cut kick and our reaction, we're gonna get a bit creative now, so doing a few different kicks. First one, timing back kick. So again, I'm gonna throw the ball up as it drops, and try and switch my feet, and back kick, and hit the ball. So up. Try it as it 
as it's coming down, try and wait for it to get the right height and spin fast. Don't spin slow trying to catch it. You have to catch it as it's dropping nice and fast spin. Another technique we can use is our punch. So with punch we have to get the right timing to travel forward and hit and hit in the right spot. So again, you can use these balls, throw it against the ball, come in. Try to catch it, chest up. Again, working on accuracy and speed. As soon as we see it at the right height, coming in and punching strong. Now I've set some techniques that you can do as part of this workout, but I encourage you to get creative and try some different kicks um, on the tennis balls because anything that you do, as long as you're trying to get your foot onto the ball, it's helping your foot to eye coordination and your reaction technique and speed. So get creative, use a wall, use a person, um, if you've got a partner, throw it at them. Um, yeah, get creative.